Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's go. His name is Ranil Sharma. Yeah. Hi, Ranil. How are you? Hi, Gary. I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. This is nice to see you. Same here. <laughs> Okay, Ronil, how is your life going? It's a very pandemic situation at this moment. Ah, we're working from home, same old. That's so, great. Stuck enjoying, at home, you know. <laughs> enjoying with the family and working from the home, earning the money same time. That's really good, man. <laughs> I think after <laughs> some after some time, it becomes too boring staying home. So, did you get the vaccinations? Uh, did I get the what? Sorry, vaccine. Oh yeah, I've got half of it yet at the moment. The other half is still left. That's really great. So, Ronil, uh, today I think you have already got the message from our Facebook page that uh, today uh, this spot is given to you to share some information, some knowledge about this learning house package, our development sites, mm -hmm. how we're working with our clients and the investors. Uh, from the first term buyer to the investor, uh, we are giving a bit information in this sessions. Mm -hmm. So I think this is the first time in this uh, real estate industry we are sharing at the same time with a couple of people in the same screen, and all have the different third different ideas and the different views regarding to the properties. So it is better that all of the people sharing at the same time the knowledge and experiences. Uh, Ronil, I'd just like to introduce one of my friends. He's, uh, he's also experienced. Hi, Ronil. How are you going? I'm good. Uh, How's your name? Hey, Nitin Bhai. How's your Nitin Bhai? I'm very well. I'm very so, well. he's a quite experienced guy in the real estate. And uh, uh, from the development side, I give you the bit information. And from the real estate side, uh, Nitin will be more experienced mm -hmm. in the real estate things. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have already got the experience through the knitting, so <laughs> it is better that you can you can open up your minds and discuss about the things. Mm, I think I've been in touch with Nitin quite often now. <laughs> okay, so you are our current client, or you are still looking around the properties? What is no, no, I've, I've put a holding deposit. I'm just waiting on my bank to finalize some my equity from my current house, so that I can purchase the one at Ingleburn Road. Oh, that's really good. Mm. So that is our new development sites in Ingleburn Road. And you did the right job, Ronil, by the way, because this, that development sites is really very, very good locations. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, Nathan has already been explained that how far is the train station, what are the amenities coming through there, what are the school's locations, you know. So you yeah. did the right job. Congratulations, brother. Thank you. Actually, I was looking yep. through your Facebook page. Yeah. And you've got a new development coming up on uh, 6th Avenue or something? That's right. So it is in 285 6th Avenue. The state name is Paradise State. Mm -hmm. So there is a 27 lots. It's a very boutique type of the development site. Mm -hmm. So lane size is started from 300 meters squares up to 390 meters squares. Mm -hmm. And the school is very close by around uh, Unity Grammar School is around 200 meters away from there. Yeah. So the lot that you are developing, it's between 6th Avenue and Haybale Street, right? Uh, Haybale Street. Do you know the word the Haybale Street? Yeah, he lives in 6th Avenue. Yes. Uh, I, no, I live on Haybale Street. So the development uh, yeah. is right in front of my house, I think. That's right. <laughs> I close. was looking at it. I said, OK, this land is also going up. <laughs> Yeah. Now at this moment, uh, you know, it is very hard to find something closer to the stations in Austral and Lepington because uh, market is so heating up, you know, and uh, uh, the land price itself is really, really high. Mm. So uh, that is uh, that, you know, like whatever the price we are pricing at this moment in our development side is really good. You know, like uh, I think we are very competitive price regarding to the the, build, uh, the developers at this moment in the market. Mm -hmm. So uh, in regards of the development site, you are in the right directions because uh, the area, the location is really good where 
you know, like you are planning to buy. Mm -hmm. So yes, Sixth Avenue is there, and we are coming up into Box Hill as well. And our next project is going uh, before we launched into the Marston Park. So that is that already sold. Mm. So. Now I'm more interested in staying around this area. Yeah, that's right so because that is them. upcoming areas and it's an emerging area, in fact. Mm. So especially with your situation, as you're looking something very closer to settlement, mm -hmm. uh, Lippington is preferably more is much better for you regarding the solid development approved. The machines are going to be on the side in the next six to eight weeks time. Mm -hmm. And hence on the other side on the sixth Avenue, which is an amazing side as well, but we have lost the DA for that one, but that's going to be sometime late next year. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be much quicker than sixth Avenue. The only the thing was that this is the first time I'm buying off the plan. So I was a okay. bit apprehensive about how the process is going to work. You know, that's why I've been asking you all these questions with regards that's to fine. that's why that's part of my job. Because okay, this so one I built where the land was already registered, so it was all very smooth and like in terms of payments and deposits and everything. So I wasn't really sure how off the plan system works. That's why I was asking all these questions. <laughs> Hello. Uh, sorry, sorry, I think the, the hmm. something happened to the internet. One second, please. No worries. Hi, Ina. Thanks for joining us today. Um, we have just uh, experienced a couple of seconds ago some difficulties with the internet of the team. Uh, just be with us. We're going to try to fix it within the next couple of seconds. Hello, can you hear me? Hi. Yes. Hi. Yeah, just so you know that um, they're just having some um, technical difficulties at the moment, so just bear with us, and um, and then we'll try and get that fixed for you ASAP. So, how are you all um, doing in lockdown at the moment? How's everything going? Oh, so far, so good. Just staying home. Yeah. Yeah. Working from home, you know. Yeah, just kind of doing the best that you can, I suppose, isn't it? With the situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's all happening at the moment. Nothing much we can do about it. 
No, absolutely. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. There's nothing much we can do. Um, yeah, the only thing we can do is just kind of um, deal with it the best way we can. And, um, yeah, hopefully um, this thing will end very, very soon. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't look like with the number of cases going up every day. I don't know. Yeah, well, they were discussing um, actually that um, – that they were looking at um, maybe hopefully by sometime in September, October. So, oh, there we go. We're back on. Gary, you just got to unmute yourself. You're on mute. Yeah, that's it. Hello. 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 Yeah, you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, sorry, uh, the power is caught off. That's why we uh, we disconnected with the computers things. Mm -hmm. Now we're back. So Ronil, I'm very happy that uh, if you have any questions in your mind, please feel free to ask us. We are here to help you today. Okay. So assisting you throughout the process of the developments. And uh, uh, it's really good that you have already started the process with our company. That's really good. Yeah. It's very glad to know about it. Okay. So, um, Ina. Hello. Ronan, Hi. did you hear me? Ina, yeah, can I you can hear you. I can hear you. Unmute yourself, Ina. You just have to press. Um, Unmute and um, you'll be able to talk. Ina, are you there? Hello, she is still on mute. Ina, can you please praise the buttons so that we can we can restart the voice starting talking it still sees in mute That's all right, uh, Gary, do, do you want to continue with uh, giving information about the current market, what's happening in the Sydney market? Okay, uh, Ronil, you said last time, uh, like uh, in the last conversations, that this is the first time you are buying off the plan, right? Mm -hmm. yep. So so do you have, uh, you got the sufficient information about uh, off the plan with Nitin, or you want to make some clarifications about it? No, I think I had a good discussion with Nitin. I was, um, I think uh, my understanding, the only issue was that uh, for construction, I would probably pay the 10% deposit once the land has been registered. Mm -hmm. Because uh, as it is, if, uh, so if I pay a 10% deposit, right, let's say for a construction as well, mm -hmm. and then uh, once the land gets registered, and at that time, we find out that, uh, let's say the land is, uh, you know how you've got that 5% that you can, the land can either go bigger or smaller or something. That mm -hmm. could be, uh, let's say the layout of the land, I'm not really sure. So mm -hmm. at that time, if there are some changes to whatever plan that I've discussed, then I would be charged a variation cost, right? Or would that not be the case? So, uh, in regards of you are talking about the land size and shapes, that's what you were saying. Mm -hmm. So, this is the DA approved uh, land, Ronil. So, I'll just make you sure maybe the, you know, like uh, it's a big site. In fact, there is a 62 lots. Mm -hmm. So, in the first stage, we introduced 42 lots in the Engelman Road, that is Leppington. Yep. And the second stage, we are going to launch very soon 18 lots as well. So our planning is to develop at the same time, whereas the questions you raised is what happened if the sizes of the land is decreased or increased? Is that right? 
Yes, because at the moment, let's say I don't know whether the land is going to be uh, flat or is it going to be slopey. So we, I don't know anything about that, right? Because the land is not registered yet. Yeah, so I was practically, thinking that- So practically, practically when you buy the off-the-plan property, most mm -hmm. of the cases, all these develop, development site has the unregistered lanes and mm -hmm. uh, developer takes some times to make the, you know, like uh, uh, the plotting the lanes then to make the subdivisions of the lanes. So mm -hmm. it, uh, it is not the unusual things we have done in this project as well, because we are in the process of the civil and the construction work. The best thing is in Leppington project, you don't need to wait for a long time because we are very close to getting the CC construction certificates to start the civil works. So mm -hmm. within two to three weeks, we get the, that one CC and we started the construction work as well. So we are hoping if everything is good and you know, like weather conditions favor to us, within eight to nine months that we are making ready for the registrations for the client, these plots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And second thing, yes, I know sometimes the client is really, really in the bad situations with the developer because if the land is too slopey, maybe it comes to the site cost to the clients later on, which is not, they are familiar or aware when they are buying the off the plan property. Mm -hmm. That is very normal situation and conditions in off the plan. But most of the time, as as a uh, as a developer point of view, I'm putting my uh, options and putting my advice or putting my information through you. Is we are trying as much as flat the lane as we can. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the lane situation and scenario or the nature of the lane it does not fit to flat hundred percent. But the question is yes. We have our in-house construction company. Maybe you have a little discussed with Nitin, Sriti, mm -hmm. our team. So we look after that situations that site cost in terms of. So mm -hmm. I'm not sure like after the subdivision of the lanes, how much the flat, how much we can make the flat. But in our tenders, especially one meter up to one meter fall, we are covering yep. we are covering the site cost. And we are not putting the M class lab. Make sure this thing because we are giving H1 class lab. Mm -hmm. So I'm 100 percent CO like side cost. We try to avoid as much as we can. And I'm not uh, yep. giving you, you know, like uh, hope or false expectation as well. 100 percent mm -hmm. out of, you know, like uh, 100, 100 clients, maybe hardly we got to 1 percent these issues in our development side. So fortunately or unfortunately, you know, like uh, sometimes site is not that much good to flat everywhere. So that is mm -hmm. one of the case. But as a custom builds, we give as much as options to to move around and play around to avoid the site costs. Mm. You can okay. take it this way. <clears throat> Let me add on to that, Ronald. Um, mm -hmm. If you look onto my tender, um, it clearly mentions um, a lot of builders don't cover any site costs. Yeah, we cover, we cover truck, three trucks of soil removal. OK, mm. one meter is quite big. You know, if there is slope mm. up to one meter, it's not going to be a five meter slope on a black block of land. Mm. So mm. This is to justify our community and our client age that a builder is being generous enough and reasonable enough to cover a slope up to one meter if it occurs, if it mm. occurs. But having said that, what Gary just recently said, we barely have a client who will have a big slope on their block of land. OK. Um, but still there is Ronald, just I just expand these things. Just I'm adding up the things like as a custom builders, we have options and opportunity to play around in your in your constructions, like in your floor plans to avoid or minimize the cost of the site cost. OK, um, so let's say everything is uh, done. I've paid the deposit, let's say for the land, the 10 percent. Mm -hmm. Then after that, uh, Nitin, you mentioned that probably after, within the next two, three weeks, then you would provide me with a house construction tender, right? That's right. So, and then I would be required to pay the 10% deposit for that one as well. That's right. So, okay, let's say we've, we've uh, agreed on a, a, a sort of a plan that we want for the house and the land gets registered next year, March. What if we want to have that plan change at that time? Does that include until, any of us? Until we don't go for series C, mm -hmm. which happens at the last step, last step of this whole procedure and the first mm -hmm. step of construction. 
So until okay. you go for CDC, you, you can change your plans as many times you want. So there's no limitations okay. on that. As soon as the council mm -hmm. have approved it and stamped it, Mm -hmm. It's a hassle. It can still be changed, but it's a hell lot of hassle and expensive way to change it. Yeah, I know because with my current house, mm -hmm. any changes that I wanted, they charged me variation cost. And like that was not part of the plan. Because you bought a project home. You bought a project home. We are giving you the flexibility to build a custom built home. Mm -hmm. So whether you make three bedrooms or make six bedrooms, I wouldn't make a big difference to my height. But as soon as we lock CDC, mm -hmm. you gotta be happy with windows. Elevation plans, structural facades, everything. Mm -hmm. So as you're happy with that, as soon as it's gone to CDC, you cannot change. But that is just before the construction starts. So you have good eight months to work on your plan. Okay. Um, yeah. And then you are saying that uh, if everything goes well, then the registration is supposed to happen somewhere around March next year, right? March to April next year. Give or take uh, some month here and there. So, as you know, my situation, because I'm going to take a loan on my current house. That's right. So, when would you like inform me that, yeah, it is nearly ready for registration or something like that? Are you going to inform me in March or are you going to let me know, let's say, a couple of months earlier so that I can okay. get my loans and everything approved? Okay. Usually, how it works is as soon as the development site is ready, mm -hmm. your solicitor hear back from vendor solicitors four to six weeks in advance. Mm hmm. But even if you're driving around, if if the if COVID situation is normal, everything's okay. If you end up starting the site in the next six to eight weeks time, by January, you'll see all the site is finished. January, February, all the civil work will be done and it'll be sitting in the council. Mm -hmm. As soon as it goes to council, I suggest all my clients to go and lodge for the application for loan because mm -hmm. begging is done. So survey can come and do the valuation. Mm -hmm. So get your loan sorted as soon as the civil work is done. So, that's not so council, you will... You will let I'll us know inform, when. I'll inform all my clients. Okay, from the development's point of view, Ronil, I'll just make the CEO about these things because what, how the development is work uh, for the notice of completions or the registration notice for the client is generally mm -hmm. all the developers they give you the 14 days prior notice before we make the land registrations. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but the situation is here: yeah, you are working very closely with the developer builder and the real estate all together in one platform. Mm -hmm. So we inform to our team for like for the settlement because they are very closely working with us, Nitin and Sriti, so that they got the information on time so that you got the information before 14 days of this land registration notice. And after mm -hmm. the land registration notice, there is very much 14 days to 21 days. We give it time for the settlement of the land. And on that time, if you are not able to make the settlement, you started to pay the penalty every day about, you know, like length uh, cost, whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you, we give you three notice uh, for the completion of notice, and if you are not able to do that, then your deposit will be forfeited. So deposit will be seized. That's how the developments work. Mm -hmm. But the fortunate thing is you are working with us in the one platform, in one company, and this is all the sister concern companies, all construction, real estate, and the developments, so that you got the right information from day one uh, from Nitin and Sriti. Mm. So and you that's, that's was my concern because I will need some time to. And I'll give you at least good two to two to three months time. Soon as I would say civil is over and it goes to the council. Mm -hmm. I'll be sending an information all to all my clients to so go ahead and get your finance ready because the site is ready for valuation. Mm -hmm. Then you can go and lodge for your loan and your loan lasts for another three months anyway. And won't yeah, yeah. for three months time anyway. Mm. Yeah, just with this COVID situation, you know, they take a lot more time. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's it's be on one time. major issue that we are facing at the moment. Yeah, the entire world is affected, uh, Ronil. It's not like only you and me, but mm -hmm. yes, it is. It is good fortune that we are we are in in the good country. Mm -hmm. So government is looking at us very much in the good way. So that's where we're being protected here. Mm. Oh, and one more thing, uh, Nitin. Yes. The bank has come back to me saying that they have approved. Okay, good on you. Congratulations. I'm just waiting on the bank to send me the papers. Okay. So that I sign it. Okay. And then I give it back to them and they should be able to release the funds. Good on you, Ronald. I'm just waiting uh, on now. Yeah, I think you know why I think if I'm correct me if I'm wrong, you wanted a 25 square house, 232 square meter, yeah? 
Yes, I mean, but I'm now looking at 250 squares, like somewhere around 26, 27 squares. That's okay. There's we'll have a chat about it sometime this hour, and uh, we'll, we'll, accordingly, I'll do a tender request form for you, and then mm -hmm. I'll get your tender ready. You can have a look at it. You can get it reviewed by a solicitor. Mm -hmm. As soon as you're satisfied, we'll finalize it. Mm -hmm. I think I was looking at that house plan, Swambu or something, on your website. Yeah, well, yes, 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 yes. Some, something around that. It has a See, name starting uh, with S or something. <laughs> we, are, we offer a wide range of floor plans on our website, mm -hmm. but we give you the flexibility to make something what you want to as well. Mm -hmm. So it's good if you like something from there, we can make you that. But even if you want to make any customized changing to it, that's mm -hmm. why you have the custom builder. Okay. All right. Too easy. That sounds, that sounds good. Thanks, Ronald Bhai. Thank you for Thank your you. time to come over all the way. So any questions regarding developments because uh, today uh, this session is for the development sites. That's why uh, we are here. But fortunately, you got the Nitin uh, just grabbing, you know, like for this session. <laughs> so if you have questions, then it is better that you solve right now. I don't know. I think nobody else is asking any questions. It's just me. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, they because this is the first time ever that uh, you know like uh, we are trying to approach around five people's all together. Mm -hmm. That is that is the reason. Uh, like maybe they are not able to connect the people, so maybe something is happening back side in the technical issues. Mm -hmm. There is heaps of clients that are interested to join this session, but I'm not sure like what's wrong with this. You know, like in the technical thing. Mm -hmm. That we've got only to put on. There's a lady, uh, there's a guest in her online. I think she got a mute on. That's why mm -hmm. we can't hear her. Yeah. So th this means that I will win that $5,000 worth of upgrades, right? Or something that was on the website. <laughs> you may. <laughs> now, considering honest, that out of the five people i'm the only one talking <laughs> now, to be honest uh, after uh, this uh, until 11 we have opportunities to go around this and after that we announce that who is the winners for that five thousand dollars and definitely will award that <laughs> if you are only the person then definitely you can upgrade in the gallery there is no questions <laughs> because that's how the company announced it and we uh, we uh, we reward that thing mm. Yeah, so Nitin did clarify to me that you are the developers as well, right? I thought it was somebody else developing the land and like you were just uh, a construction company or something. <laughs> there is there is a three spaces that uh, we we have our structure. One is the development size. Definitely, I'm looking for the development sites. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nitin is looking around constructions and mm -hmm. uh, real estate work. Mm -hmm. So that means then after that, Nathan can help me sell my house as well. Of course, why not? That's right. We've been in the industry for the past eight years, nine years of working deeply. Why not? It will be. Because that's that's my plan. I'm going. I want to sell this house as soon as the other one is constructed. Definitely right. So that I can move into the new one. Hmm. And uh, even your Sadhu Saab is going with us as well. Oh, he is? Well, he's waiting for his wife's surgery or something, which is meant to happen very soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's he, he, something less, he will decide and get back to me about it. Okay. So, how many lots are still left? Are there many? I think only one lot left now. One lot. Okay. That's it. I think I had someone ask me because I wasn't sure if there was any lot left or not. I've got only one lot left. And how big is that one? Is that nine, ten square? Um, how wide is 300 it? Three hundred square meter. How wide? Is ten it? meter frontage. Ten meter. Okay, I think there was someone who was asking if then I'll let I'll give your contact to the person. Yeah, it's nearly finished. Um, we'll be going for civil very soon, so we have we'll be probably done with this by the end of this week. Mm -hmm. We can get the ball running for civil. Okay, Please. I think that's all that I have from my side. I don't can't think of any other questions. We're more than happy, Ronil, that uh, if you have any questions, but yes, you have a very good established relationship with uh, Nitin. So uh, any questions after this offline also, you can you can talk with him and get the answers from, uh, you know, from the sites that whatever you like. Mm. So how long, no, sorry, how long has Urban House been in construction so far? Like, have you been there for all of 
or is it just a new company? Now, uh, if you see the banner of our company, mm -hmm. I'm not sure you are you are able to see that one or not. No, I can see. Okay, so Levis Construction Developments, we have around 17 year experience. Okay. And Levis Construction and Urban Homes. Yep. These are the sister concern companies. Mm -hmm. And the Metro Homes and Partner is the selling company agencies. Under the umbrella of it, there is a couple of companies that in the developments and the constructions we are working together. Okay. Mm. So from one platform, you are getting the opportunity to deal from the developments to the constructions to the sales. Mm. And it is very good question that you asked. We are in the existing property as well, but our company name is Wilson Estate. So in Wilson Estate, we have a very different approach. Mm -hmm. I think I have to take one more, Ronil, if you don't mind. No, it's all right. Hello, Krishantham. Can you hear us? Hello. Hello, Krishantham. Can you hear us? Chris, Chris is there. OK, so we are, we are talking about uh, the experiences of the construction company, right, Ronil? Yep. So if you see our Levis Construction Development website, maybe you have to be go Google and take this look, you know, like Levis Construction Development. We have more than 17 years experience in, in construction industry. We are not new in the industry. Mm. OK. I just thought of just asking since nobody yeah. else is asking any questions. So I thought, OK, <laughs> no, no, the reason is why I'm giving this thing, because in the construction industry, there are the different, uh, you know, like uh, level of construction companies working at this moment because the market is really good. Mm -hmm. So they are trying to trap in into the clients and the construction business, but we are not new in this industry, though we have a very good and professional team members into the constructions company as well. Like for example, our supervisor have more than 15 years experience in constructions. We are very good project managers. We are very professional uh, color consultants. We are very good in admin staffs and we are very good in the accounts team as well. So it's a completely good subcontractors we have, tradies, we are working very professional tradies. So altogether it is really good team in fact, uh, into the constructions business. Mm -hmm. So in developments, definitely we are we are we are coming, uh, you know, more aggressively into the different different areas from northwest to southwest. So before this, we have already completed a couple of good projects uh, in terms of the development sites, like a townhouse, duplex sites, apartment, in fact, in Penrith, and uh, we are coming up to the Edmondson Park apartments, which is we are going to build around three big apartments in Edmondson Park. Mm -hmm. So we are launching very soon three. Uh, we already launched this, in fact, uh, three apartments building in Edmondson Park where we are selling 92 apartments. Oh, OK. So if you see the half uh, half right? And Hanfen, 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 yes. Hanfen Street, Hanfen Road in, in Edmondson Park, Edmondson Avenue. Avenue. Mm -hmm. If you go there, we have our sales office there for the apartment. Okay. Yeah, Urbanson Park is another one that's. Yeah, it's very, 
very, very, very good, uh, you know, equal, like a capital gain has already done in the Edmondson Park. Mm. I think around 20 construction is going around in the Edmondson Park at this moment from our company. Do you foresee any delays at the moment? For construction's work? Uh, for the registration and stuff. Like uh, that. In terms of Lippington project you're asking, right? Yes, just Lippington. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, like uh, it's not a delay, but it depends because the construction civil work, it depends on the weather conditions as well. Mm -hmm. So we are planning to finish within seven to eight months time from here. Okay. But maybe the weather conditions, you know, like people are stopped to work for a couple mm -hmm. of months, their incomes, the delays, that, that, that sort of uh, sort of things is happening in the, constru you know, like construction and the civil works every time. Yeah. And the COVID is definitely, it's some very unusual things is happening at this moment, but uh, until two to three months time, we'll be come up with the situations because the vaccination rate is very high at this moment. Mm -hmm. And government is planning to finish uh, maybe all of us has been vaccinated anyway. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Why these people are mute? Chris and Ina. Nolin? Okay. Yeah. So why this Ina and Chris is uh, mute there? Um, yeah, I'm just been um, trying to contact them just to kind of give them some guidance um, to unmute so they can talk. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not too sure. Um, but, um, yeah, um, all they just need to do is just unmute their uh, microphones and then they can um, speak and join in the conversation. So I'm not too sure what's happening there. Whether they are wanting to listen, I'm not too sure. Um, but um, yeah, I'm just trying to get in contact with them just to kind of guide them. But all they need to do is just press their unmute button um, and then they'll be able to talk freely. Yeah. yeah, I can see Chris is trying to reach us out through the chat. So we're also happy to answer all questions that are posted in the chat. But the unmute button is in the right top if someone is wondering where to find the mute, um, mute and unmute button. It's actually a pretty simple uh, microphone symbol to click. So can you please uh, uh, write the information in the conversation message and give information about how to unmute the button so that they can come in the conversation? Yep, yeah, OK. Well, got them. Just bear with me. Uh, Ronil, what I would like to know from you is actually how did you found us? Uh, are you asking about uh, this uh, session or are you talking about general? General our companies. Oh, I was driving past on Ingleburn Road that day when I saw you guys with that. Ah, okay. Ben so and everything. You're talking about the uh, releasing event that we had in, in yeah, Lincoln? that three day event that you had. So I came, I think, on the first day, and then I came on the last day. That's good, that's good, that's good. And I think on the last day I came two or three times, just to be sure. And I met Nitin, I think, three times on that particular day, because I was undecided 
about uh, projects or about locations? Or... No, not about the location. About me team, probably. <laughs> I don't know, just general. I'm just here, Miri. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, to be frank, I had not heard about the company, so I didn't know anything about it. Okay. You guys, just to be on the, like to be frank, I didn't know anything. So over those two days, I had a look around. I had checked the websites to see what the company was, yeah. how it is, and then I'm talking about committing, let's say, a million dollars. I have to be sure. Extra funded. <laughs> Are you sure now? That pretty much. Question. I mean, that's why my that's bank good. has approved that's the deposit. So. Now, what happened, Ronil, that yes, you are you are right, because when you are putting the lifetime big investments, you have to make sure a couple of things that are they are the right company, are they are the good people, because a lot of things happening in this industry, uh, mm -hmm. because I've been around more than myself, working around more than 10 year plus years in this industry, I have seen so many builders. I have seen so many developers. I have so, seen so many real estate agencies as well. <clears throat> they have not doing the right things to the client. So mm -hmm. it is it is like a fear, you know, like a psycho fear of the clients uh, in the market when they are spending, when they are selecting their dream homes with the, uh, you know, with the builders and the developers. Mm -hmm. But we are here to make sure because our company is always taking very innovative idea challenges and trying to help our client, try to assist our client as much as we can from our capacity. So that is the reasons that we open these channels, not only for today, we are going on this more aggressively in the futures to give the new way of the business because due to the pandemic situation, you know, like all over the world has been changed. The general trends of the business has been changed now. Mm -hmm. It is not easy as before to come and contact face to face. Mm. You know, so even if the vaccine is, and if the normal situation government reopened the market, still there is a people have a big fear and, you know, like uh, in the mind to come face to face meeting because I don't know how long it will take to completely rid off of these situations. But yes, at least we are trying our best efforts to reach out our clients to give more information, make sure they are on the right hands. We are opening because from today the construction is reopening, resume, re resuming from the job sites. So there are a lot of a lot of things government is putting their best efforts to eliminate or you know like avoid or maybe minimize the risks of the COVID. And we are coping with the government's things to make happen, uh, you know, like in the construction industry or our business to give the clients dream home. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> At this moment. Like uh, if we talk about the southwest and northwest, maybe 60 plus construction site we are running at this moment. Mm -hmm. So the client is so much frustrated, so much disappointed and to get their dream home because uh, due to the COVID, we have to hold due to the government notice, like we have to hold the job, you know, and we are holding. But from today, it's a restarted job. Everyone is excited. I got so many calls from the morning. So our supervisor are on the track. They are getting the trades resume their work. So all these things we have to be, we have to look around all these things, you know. So mm -hmm. yes, you are right. Sometimes, you know, like people get confused to whom to choose, how to choose, what is the, what is the process to choose the right people on the business. Mm -hmm. So I make sure from my team, like you are on the right path, you are, you are choosing or selecting the good company. We never let you down in your process. So we are you free to ask any questions anytime. We are happy to answer that questions because we have a very professional team here to uh, solve the problem or get an back to answers, whatever you have in your mind, because you are making your dream home and you are putting your lifetime investment in this home. So mm -hmm. the questions, as much as questions you ask, as much as you need the clarity, we have to provide from our side. That is our responsibilities. So we are happy to do that, Ronil. Don't think like, you know, like, uh, or don't doubt, don't put any confusions in your mind uh, about the things like your decision. You are you are mm -hmm. making very, very good decisions to coming with us, and we make sure from our end, you are in the safe end. Mm. Gary, we have a question from Ina. She would like to know how much is the housing land package around 
for a 300 square meters house and two story building roughly. OK, so uh, in Lippington or any area at this moment in the southwest, uh, the land size is really, really high because uh, it's uh, touching the premium price. If you are talking about a 300 meter square land itself is around six hundred thousand dollar. And the constructions is uh, it depends upon the client that what sizes of the house they want to build. If we start off with the 20 square house double story with the full premium inclusions, it goes around 350. So around 950 to 980, they are getting their decent size of house. 20 squares. Ina, do you have any further questions in terms of house and land packages? I can see also this, that Krish is trying uh, to message us. I'm guessing he wants also to ask some questions. So Krish is saying he's wondering what are the areas in Southwest Sydney? Our projects? Yep. Yes. Our project we have in Lippington and Austral in 6th Avenue. Uh, and uh, we have in Lippington, that is in Ingleswood Road. And we have duplex sites in Gregory Hill, which is under the construction at this moment. We have in Austral in Flexon Street, that is the duplex sites. And uh, we have in Ricard Road in Lippington, that is also the uh, duplex site. So if the investors want to come and join with the investments portfolio, like uh, Ronil, if you want to come and join with us, maybe you are planning to sell your house. If you want to motivate into the property market, there are a lot of ways we can make you extra capitals gain from the property. Not necessarily you want to buy the property with us, but you can come into the investment board, investment team or investment portfolio where we can give you the returns not less than 20%. Hmm, okay. Okay, so that thing also happened with our company because we are, at this moment, we are building more than 20 sites for our client for the duplex. Hmm. They're all investors. Mm -hmm. So it is not you only put the property or buy the property to live, you know, like you can make easily good amount of money because it depends upon project to projects, like how much return you get. But yes, you are working with the developers and the builders with the real with the very professional sales team. You have a higher possibilities and probabilities to get the big returns from the property with us. Hi, Gary. Um, Ina, just wanting to know, um, she just wants to explain about the buying process, including um, the finishing construction. So, I so uh, she wants to know about the buying process of, uh, of the plan, or she wants to know how to do uh, the construction process? What she wants to know? I think she probably would like to know everything if possible, just how it, the whole process and how it works. Okay, generally in off the plan, there are the two components. One is land and one is constructions. That is, that's why it's called the house and land package. So when you buy this type of the properties, definitely it is different than existing property. And the uh, fair trading rules also guided off the plan and the existing property into different areas. So whereas we are talking about off the plan today, so what happened when we do the off the plan? There is a land and the constructions together. So first of all, you have to select within your limitations and within your requirements, like what type of the lane size you require, what type of the house you are looking after, like a single story or double story. And after that, you are finalized with our sales team, which is very professional sales team. They will guide you through your financial requirements. They are checking your borrowing capacity. They check your deposit labels. And after that, they guide you, which is the best product for you for single story or double story, what sizes of the house uh, and what sizes of the land do you require? And after that, if you finalized everything, the next step, you have to put the EOI expression of interest. 
In that expression of interest, you have to put around 0.25% for the land and the constructions. In together, you have to put the $5,000 together for house and land package. And after putting the $500,000, the next step, we are issuing your land contracts to your solicitor, which you are putting through into the expression of interest. And your solicitor check the land what did the land actually looks like? What are the conditions? What are the restrictions inside the land contracts? And if you are happy with the land contracts, then you have to sign that land contracts and send through your solicitors to the vendor solicitors, developer solicitors. And second thing, in terms of the constructions, yes, our sales team is more professional to guide from here now, like for your custom pro plan. If you are looking for something single story or double story, or if you are looking in our website, which is urbanhomesnsw.com.au or Levis Construction and Development website, if you go and check, there is there are a couple of pro plans, which is the actual construction we are doing for clients at this moment. And you can select as per your budget and your requirements. After that, we'll give you the final draft copy of the constructions. And in the meantime, like we agreed for the construction price, then we issue the tenders and the bill contracts to you. So once you get the bill tenders and the contract, you signed over there and you have to pay the 10% deposit of the constructions. And after that, when the construction contra uh, contract been signed, your land contract has been signed, both things are executed from our company and you have to wait until the land registration's time. So once the land registration time come, our company will inform you for your loan preparations. And once you prepare the loan, sorry, I just have to accept this one. I don't know. Okay, once they approve the loan, once they approve the loan, uh, they have to make the settlement because the developer will give you the registration notice in this between time and you have to settle the lane. And after settle the lane, we'll put through the CDC process for the constructions. When the CDC is done, when your home warranty insurance is done, you have to submit that documents to bank through your mortgage broker, or if you are directly involved with the bank, you have to give that documents to the bank and they will give you the commencement letter. And after we get the commencement letter, we started the construction process. So generally when you put the expiration of interest, our company will take the rest of the initiations to until the completion completion of the house and handover. Nolan, do you have any questions from the from the guest? Uh, no, there's nothing that's come through at this stage. Ronil, do you understand that the process that how it goes? Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Now only we have 10 minutes left for this session. If someone want to ask the questions, please feel free to ask the question. Chris and Ina. I don't think so. I've got any questions that I can think of. Maybe if I can think of something later, I'll ask Nitin, I think. <laughs> no worries. Thank you, Ronel. Thank you for your... Yeah, otherwise, it's all good. So, yeah, Nitin, just give me probably a week for the bank to release the documents and the funds. So, no problem, Ronel. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, and we'll then I should be able to pay the, settle the land and then after that. So, uh, Ina asked the questions how long it will take for the land registration, maybe in the message box. Yeah. So, Ina, the question is very simple because I already explained to Ronil that how the land registration process has happened. Uh, <clears throat> from here, from today, as I said, in Leppington project, we are giving you tentatively around eight to nine months time for the land registration. So 
we already applied for the CC and uh, within two weeks time we got the CC. We started the construction work very, very soon. So we are not very far for the land registrations. Eight months time we can we can see in that way. I think from me that's all. So I'll probably leave the meeting now because I've got. Thank you so much, Ronan, for joining work. us. <laughs> Best of luck for your new constructions and the Thank you, Gary. Thanks. We are here to help Thank you out. Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right. See you. Bye. Okay. Are you there, Gary? Um, yeah, Ines just texted and she just said. Um, she's just said thank you so much. Um, that she'll be in touch soon as well so thank you um, enough if, for... have any, you know, if you have any questions at all please don't hesitate to write to us um contact us and um and then we'll be happy to assist with any questions after the meeting as well so Ina, my number is 0434192946 you can give me a call after offline as well so we are here to help you throughout this process Uh, she said all good thanks. Thank you so much, Zina, for joining us today. Hope uh, you are Chris, enjoying this. Uh, Chris, is there, if there's any questions that you want to know, um, he's just said thanks for the advice. I'll contact you if I need to know anything um, further. Thank you, Chris. Like, uh, as we said, uh, the lucky draw we are doing for these stations, the winner is getting the $5,000 for the upgrades. If you guys are interested in our projects, please get the uh, get the UI with our sales team or personally give me a call. My number is 0434192946. We'll get you the projects and happy to give you the 5,000 pulses for these upgradations. Thank you. Okay, now we have to leave the sessions, I think. Uh, he just said uh, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Hope to talk to you soon, everyone. Bye. All right. Bye bye. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.